National Equality March. My name is Robin McGee, and I'm the co-director of the National Equality March with Kip Williams. And um, today's story started off in May for many of us. Uh, there was a posting that David Mixner put on his blog that was then covered by Advocate.com calling on seasoned leadership of people like Cleve Jones, Tori Osborne, and others um, that had traveled the road of activism in this movement long before us to gather um, the energy of the grassroots mobilization that was happening after the passage of Prop 8 and gather that energy and march on Washington because he believed in um, felt strongly that now was the time to march on Washington. With that call, um, Cleve Jones uh, called me and many other activists um, that he knew across the United States um, and made the offer um, to come on board uh, with what was going to be a crazy ride with no funding, <laughs> with no funding, um, no uh, infrastructure based on an organization to represent us, but people who had a belief that equality and full federal equality was what we were standing up for. Um, the reality was when Cleve answered David Mixner's call on Advocate.com with the post in response, emails began to come from across the United States, and today's executive uh, steering committee that you'll be introduced to at the end of this press conference represent nearly um, every area of the United States, um, from communities of color to the trans community to people of faith and straight allies, people from the labor movement and beyond. Um, and it is because of their emails of wanting to get involved and Cleve and David and Tori and other seasoned leadership to include those who wanted to be so involved and connected to this movement that we are here today. So we thank you for coming to the National Equality March Press Conference. We're going to talk about not only the inception of this event, but also the vision around equality across America.